In order to prove a topos has finite colimits, we need to introduce the power objects functor. A topos is required to have power objects by definition, and we show in this video the assignment of an object to its power object extends to a functor. We will then prove some of the properties this functor possesses. Recall that one, the power object on an object x, enjoys the universal mapping property of the exponential omega to the x, where omega is the subobject classifier. Two, f is left adjoint to g if and only if for each a object little a and b object little b, there is a natural isomorphism between the a morphisms from fb to a and the set of b morphisms from b to g a. Three, a functor G is conservative, provided it reflects isomorphisms. In other words, if GF is an isomorphism, then F is an isomorphism. Four, a faithful functor reflects monomorphisms and epimorphisms. And five, a topos is balanced. In other words, a morphism which is both a monomorphism and an epimorphism is an isomorphism. Throughout this video, we assume we are working in a fixed topos E. By the universal mapping property of power objects for each morphism F from X to Y, there is a unique morphism PF from PY to PX, such that the following diagram commutes. Then it is easy to verify that this assignment defines a functor P from the opposite category of E to E. In the category of sets, P is the contravariant power set functor, where PF assigns a subset E of Y to the inverse image of E. A remarkable yet simple fact about the power object functor is that it is its own adjoint, or more precisely, the opposite of P is left adjoint to P. This follows from the following string of natural isomorphisms for each pair of E objects X and Y where the first isomorphism is by exponential adjunction, the second by precomposition by a twist morphism, which is induced on the product by a second projection and a first projection, and the third isomorphism is again by exponential adjunction, and the last isomorphism is by definition of the dual or opposite category. Observe that the unit is the unique morphism such that the following diagram on the right commutes and the co-unit is the opposite morphism of the unit in the opposite category of E. We have shown in the video on the construction of exponentials in a topos that the singleton morphism on Y, F, classifies the subobject given by the monomorphism F1, and we claim that PF, singleton morphism on Y, classifies 1F or in other words, the natural isomorphism above takes the singleton morphism YF to PF singleton morphism on Y. This amounts to showing that PF singleton morphism on Y is the exponential adjoint to delta sub Y F cross one, where delta sub Y classifies the diagonal subobject. It is easy to see that the following diagram commutes the right-hand morphism is delta sub y by definition of the singleton morphism on y. The top square commutes since both the high road and the low road are factorizations of f cross singleton morphism on y. And the bottom square commutes by definition of pf. Therefore, pf singleton morphism on y is exponential adjoint to delta sub y f cross 1 showing that PF singleton sub Y classifies 1F, which is sometimes called the graph of F as a subobject of X cross Y. We can use this to show that P is faithful. Suppose PF is equal to PG for morphisms F and G. Then by precomposing by the singleton morphism, we have the following equality. Thus, the graph of F is equal to the graph of G as subobjects of X cross Y. Thus, there exists an automorphism K on X such that K, GK 
is equal to 1f. Then by projection, we see that k is equal to 1, and thus f is equal to g as desired. Then as a corollary, we have that p is conservative. Note that we have a topos e is balanced, and this is equivalent to the opposite category of e being balanced since monomorphisms and epimorphisms are dual concepts. Then since faithful functors reflect monomorphisms and epimorphisms, we have p reflects isomorphisms, completing the proof.